Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. Today we got the Hover, we got Sparks, and we got Scourge on this guy. Super, super fun build. Very hard to keep alive though. Even if I do really well with this guy, I can't say I suggest him for like Champion League or something. Alright, now if they ever come out with a Legendary Pilot, which gives this guy some sort of, you know, damage resistance or something, that would be amazing. But this guy definitely needs a little bit of something to do well in the higher leagues. I mean, sometimes I have some amazing games with him. Sometimes it's just like, zap, you're dead. Like, bam, he blows up the second somebody looks at him. So, he definitely needs some sort of damage resistance or something when he's in the air. Personally, I think I like the uh, stock skin better on this guy. But let's go play a couple battles. And let's go see how he does. I did put two armor kits on him, and I don't have a pilot for this guy. All right, so no pilot. All right, battle begins. So we're going to go ahead and start off with him. Now, this guy used to be my favorite beacon runner because he's really fast. He's probably faster than the majority of the robots. Because you can just kind of fly over to your destination, get moving, get up in the air. Let's see if we can beat that hover, beat that little... Uh, little guy over there unfortunately I guess some of the newer robots are definitely faster but back in the day this dude would have made it over there first I might have actually got a part of that taking that beacon I'm not sure now he does have a decent amount of hit points someone's about to get me those and that's a leech with this leeching ability so I got hit harder than I should have because for some reason so I have avoided a lot of those rockets by jumping. Not all of them. And I think I should have put a healing module on this guy. Maybe. I don't know. We don't have a healing module. We have a spaceship. Which would have come in handy a minute ago. I guess I guess that's his defense. Is when you're in the air and someone starts shooting at you. Hit your face shift. I don't think anybody's... I don't think that leech is attached to anybody. Here comes someone up over here. I'm going to get up in the air and jump so I can hit him. That's this guy's thing, is he can get up in the air and get over top of obstacles. But as soon as he goes in the air, he's kind of like up there for everybody to shoot. So, as you can see, he just got blown up. So you got to be really careful when you use his jumps. Alright, so somehow I hit a button that made my screen recorder stop recording, so I lost most of that battle footage, which sucks, because that was a great battle. So we're just going to go ahead and start off again. Alright, this is good here to start off with hover, because we got some longer range weapons. And we're going to try and zap some of these guys that are trying to do whatever they're doing. So let's go after this guy. He went into phase shift already. So I'm going to go ahead and get up in the air here. Try and get to a, a spot where... let kind of just hover on over here. Here comes his buddy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of all this old ammo. He's coming up this way. Let's get up in the air again. Let's see if we can hit him over that. Nope. Usually getting up in the air will allow you to hit people you normally couldn't hit, but not all the time. I mean, Hover is super, super cool and super, super fun to play, but I've been playing him so long, I kind of have a pretty good hang of him, so I can kind of get a good feel of when to jump and when not to jump and all that. Like right now, do not jump. Do not jump. You will be dead in seconds. So this is not great. I want to try and make sure I can keep my lock on for this guy. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and jump and try to avoid some of that fire that's shooting at me. Where is this dude? Alright. I'm going to phase shift it. There's another Aljun up in the air. I just lost some stuff. And I'm dead. Okay, so that didn't work out. I believe it's phantom time, guys. I believe it is phantom time. And that is one tough robot. How is that thing still alive? That's an hour June. He should have been dead, man. He should have been dead. I'm going to use my healing module. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back out of here. Hurry up and unfaze you. All right, we got whatever that is. Come on, dude. You got to try and get our beacon back. Where is he going? 
Something's hitting me really hard from over there. Alright, come on, kill it. How is that guy so tough? I mean, what does he have that makes him not die? That's now June. I don't get it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start here. I'm gonna bring in my Al June. Zap this thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm going after it. It seems pretty darn tough. Actually, let's go for that low key. Oh, I didn't quite get it. But yeah, Spark and Scourge is definitely my favorite setup on the hover. I've tried all kinds of stuff, and that's really the only setup that I like. Spark and Scourge. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. It's getting real choppy, which is what usually happens right before it crashes. He's in a phase shift. I'm going to go up in the air. Usually, if one of these things is using a phase shift, they don't have a whole lot of their ability left, what I've noticed, but that's not always true. That guy actually had two ability charges and just did another one, so he had plenty left. My theory was wrong that time. And let's go and zap this Titan here. And we did get our beacons back, which is good. Someone way over there, too far away. There's someone within range, so let's go ahead and get up in the air here. Alright, I'm gonna back off just a little bit. I wanna make sure I'm hitting them. That flamethrower really doesn't seem to do all that much by itself, but when you have the flamethrower plus some other weapons, that does really, really well. whole gaggle of those things. What are gaggles? Crows, I think. Which would kind of work because that thing's kind of like a bird, right? It's kind of like a bird plane bot thing. Closer. Feel my shockers. Alright. Into the air we go. I think I'm too close. There we go. Now I'm hitting him. Alright. I gotta move over this way. I wanna make sure I land behind cover where those things... Oh! Get out of here! <laughs> Hopefully he's out of ammo, so at least at least try and damage him as much as possible. Someone's over here. I'm gonna bring in my Arthur. Where is it? Can I hit it? It looks like I should be hitting him. It looks like my weapons are on the same level as he is. I, I don't think I'm getting him, but I will be in about two seconds. Oh, I missed. Somebody else got him. My Arthur does feel like it sure is moving faster. That's weird. Maybe I did put a more more upgrades into him. I don't know. I can't remember. I know I upgraded a couple things, but I don't think I upgraded the thing that makes him move quicker. I must have. I don't know. My memory's terrible, guys. I think I've told you all that before. I never remember anything. I think I might have dementia already. need to kill these people. Alright, we just need to kill these things. Let's get these guys out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and close my doors. Is there a Titan behind me? What just hit me? I think there's a Titan behind me. No, but there's... Yes, there sure is. I 
think this is the one we want to take out now, okay? Go ahead and get these guys. The way over there. I don't think I'm hitting him. I want to make sure our teammate gets that beacon, and he did. This is good. We still got three beacons. We are losing, but we still have a chance. If we can hold all three of these beacons, might be able to do okay. We got an Arthur coming in this way. Alright, he just shut his doors. He's getting close. Social distancing, buddy. Stay back. Stay back. Okay? Don't come any closer. 74 meters, alright? Don't don't come any closer than that, okay? You gotta stay socially distanced. Alright, you can't have my beacon, sir. Alright. There's another one. Another one up there. Another one up there. It's gonna be interesting tomorrow to see the new robot hawk. It does look like he's gonna be on the test server. And uh, I, I did find out some more about the pilot rework a little bit, so I'll, I'll explain what I, I'll explain a little bit more that I know about that tomorrow on the test server. But it does look like there's going to be tier 1 through tier 4 pilot skills. Our current skills, when, when you level up a skill and it gets to a max level, those are currently a tier 3 skill. So there's going to be one more upgrade above what we currently have now. But I will say we're not going to lose, like, whatever skills we currently have, that's the way they're going to stay. They're gonna, our skills are tier 3, so anything we already have leveled up to where it is going to be a tier 3 skill, and then we'll be able to level up one more time to a tier 4 skill. I think there's a little more to it than that. I have to, I have to get up the, the little thing they sent us again and check it out, refresh my memory, but similar to that but I do think there might be a little bit more to it. Where did that guy go? He when did we get teleporting spider box? That's what I want to know. Alright hopefully I can take out this Ming really quick. I'm pretty sure someone's behind me so I need to turn around and zap them in just a minute. Here comes this thing. Bam! <laughs> oh I wish he would have been up a little higher. Look he's stuck. Look at that. That's awesome. He's stuck on the cliff there. Oh man, that was fun. <laughs> I should have hit it a little sooner because if he was up over top of that thing, he would have really went flying. All right, that was pretty good. 3.4 million damage, five kills. Can't complain about that. Cannot complain about that. Now I did have a booster running. I don't have a healer, so hey. That was good, but the booster only gives you 5% more damage. So I just did well over 3 million there, I think. Let's check out my stats and see what they say now. Max damage, yep, 3.3. Look at that. I just did 3.3 million. That's my best ever. Awesome. Alright, so let's go back and play another battle. All right, time to destroy some people. Let's go destroy some people good, all right? You nasty robots, you're gonna die. My hover, gonna hover all over you. Now I saw an awesome video on Reddit the other day where somebody had a hover. That's not why I'm playing this, I just remembered about it just now, but somebody had a hover and he flew up and he landed on top of the Al Ming's head and the Al Ming was going around trying to get him it was great that was the best video I've ever seen now this guy used to be the best beacon runner watch how quick I can get over to this beacon but unfortunately I'm probably gonna end up dying because these things can hit me right now I'm not there's a couple of them I'm just gonna go, Ooh, someone got me with some big long ridge stuff that wasn't great for me and I really wish I had a mechanic skill right now they can hit me, but apparently I can't hit them at this point. So I already lost, I have already lost like half of my health. Alright. More than half, and I haven't really done much of anything myself. So, 
Hover is a little hard to play. It's a little hard to play. You really gotta play him just right or you die. So we don't want to shoot that leech yet. Okay, I think he just went out of leech mode. Dead. I would love to be able to sneak up there and help my teammate. I'm just gonna go. Oh, I'm out of ammo. There's a guy there. Let's try and zap him a bit. He's going into his mode. So he's coming after me. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to get out of here because I know that guy is coming to try and kill me. The one thing nice about the hover is you can escape into places a lot of robots can't get to. Alright, he got me. He got me. That was still fun though. I may have died, but that was still fun. Um, we got a guy coming up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my... I'm gonna bring in my Ravna, because I believe that's a Ravna who's coming after me. There's another one. Unfortunately, I, I wasted all of my ammo trying to shoot him when he was in his ability. It lasted longer than I was expecting. So it looks like he's got about four seconds of invincibility when he goes into that ability. I don't know what's shooting me right now, but boy, that did not feel great. <laughs> I'm going to my ability. Oh, he just went into his again. Wear off. Yeah. Oh, man. He must have max shotguns. I didn't appreciate that, sir. I did not appreciate that. So, the little speed machine is going to come in and blow some people up. Or at least I hope. That's what I like to think is going to happen. And I'm out of here. Hit and run, hit and run. That really was a bad place to spawn my little, or to put my little teleporting beacon. Because if you guys noticed, I was right in the line of fire still. Oh gosh, stop that. Alright. Too far away. There we go. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Man, that freaking Titan up there. Those new Titan weapons are so powerful, it's ridiculous. I didn't even stand a chance. I don't know why they released a weapon that's that freaking strong on something that big and powerful. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, where are my teammates? They're all way over there. This is not great. And I, my phase shift isn't working, probably because I'm hitting the wrong freaking button. I'm going to try and use this Arthur as a shield and heal him as I'm being shielded. But unfortunately, as you guys can see, my plan is not working out. I, I kind of wasn't paying attention to what all was around me. And those other robots, I should have went to my other mode because I had a bring up my physical shield. And those scourges wouldn't have even hurt me, but I wasn't smart enough to think of it until after I had already pretty much been dead. So... It is what it is. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Sometimes I play good. Sometimes I play dumb. I didn't get my landing, so I'm in a really bad spot. Alright, he can't get me, so that's good. But he's, he's moving up this way, okay. Yeah, I gotta get back here, because that Titan is gonna try and smash me. And I don't want hit by that thing. I need to take that out though. Five, four, three, two, one. He's a little too far away. I lost my lock on, man. Come on. I need to figure out how to get over there to where he can't get me. No, I'm behind this ridge. Is, I'm going to die because of that ridge. Alright, there we go. Perfect. 
Now I'm in a good shape. Get rid of this ammo. He's coming over this way. He wants he wants to kill me. But little does he know. Aha! I've got something in store for you, sucker. Oh yeah. Mr. Flamethrower hitting you in the face. Alright, I better back up. And move over to safety. Right now, being down behind the ridge is okay. We gotta get rid of that Ming. He's got the super strong weapons. And that, I know that's hurting our team really bad. Get rid of this old ammo. Oh no! Alright, I'm going up. Ah. Uh... Alright, it's Arthur time. And I didn't want to do that. Yes, he's in range. See you later, dude. Later, dude. There's another one up there. He's got one of those weapons, too. That's not great. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and shut my doors and try and get behind this cover here. He and yes, we can hit him. Or not. He's about to die, so that's good. All right, I'm just gonna stand over here and try and unleash some, unleash some uh, damage onto the world. And I can't get it to target the. God dang! I pushed the button about 12 times, and it kept going back between the other two, and not the guy I'm trying to hit, shoot. I don't get it. The targeting system is whacked out right now. It really is. I don't know how it got to be so bad, but it, it's bad. Right. We have a wall of Arthurs, sort of. Well, that one okay, I guess. Let's go play another one. Let's go play another one. I did decent. And complain too much. I know I'm gonna go collect a few things real quick. See what I got here. Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Is that it? I will watch that video in a minute. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. And I will say though, everybody. Start saving up your gold for those pilot skills, because I can't guarantee. I Actually, I cannot guarantee that it's actually going to be gold that levels them up. I'm not sure. I'm going to guess. I mean, pilots are currently leveled by gold. But they may or may not be gold. So make sure you guys do those test servers. All right, test servers give you gold if you fill out the forms. And do it all right and make your YouTube videos. Link your YouTube videos, get 400 gold. And right now, there's two test servers a week. There's the one, the normal one on the weekend, and there's one for the test, the War Robots Remastered. And that's 800 gold a week right now just from doing two test servers by posting two YouTube videos. Totally worth it. All right, so this is why I love my hover. All right, they're coming, oh no. Alright, we don't like that. I'm gonna go... Oh, no. Face shift, face shift, face shift, face shift. Zippity zap, zippity zappy, zippy zappy zap. <laughs> Alright. Where's that fool at? I'm gonna get somebody. Oh, I didn't want to go out, but I'm out. So we're gonna go after this guy. We're gonna get this beacon. I'm out of ammo. Come on, reload, reload. Yeah! Sweet hover move right there. Those two don't even know I'm back here. They do, they do now, I think. They got a shield. 
Oh no, it's a blitz. Help me, mama, mama. Oh, see what I mean? Sometimes you jump and guess what happens? Your blitz is dead instantly. But I had no other choice. That blitz would have killed me. The blitz would have killed me either way. So my choice was jump and take a risk or this should block his weapons. And it did not. Okay, my physical shield did not block his weapons. That physical shield did not work as advertised. And I died really fast, okay? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. I probably should have spawned him in at a different location. Oh, that's got a, oh, that's a leech and leech. Oh, he's got another purple shield, man. Sometimes I do feel like I should be running my shield breaker. Because those purple shields seem like they're just everywhere right now. What is that? I don't know, but it's dead. Okay, we are getting whomped on here. We are getting whomped on. That guy just kind of like fell in here twice. Alright, I need that ability. I'm going to go ahead and just shoot and run. Shoot and run. I'm going to go ahead and move. Get out of here. Is not a good place for me to be. Okay, I have died. So, bringing the Ravana. I think I think we're gonna lose this game. The other team is very strong. They're all running together in a pack, which is usually what teams do when they come in and dominate. So, teams who run in a pack usually end up winning because they're, they're you know they can like four or five of them run together and and all just like take out the other team. And they kind of figure out how to surround you with two or three groups of robots sometimes. So an organized team can really just destroy some people. It shouldn't have taken that many shots to kill that guy. That's the first time I've ever seen a viper on one of those little dudes. I don't think I've ever seen anybody run a viper on him before. Not once. They say there's a first for everything, and I say, you know what? That must be true. All right, so we got a phantom in, in little phantom mode. I'm not scared. But he should be. Oop, I got to go ahead and phase shift it. Actually, I'm a little scared now because I see him low on health, and his buddy came to help. Alright, Arthur time. That Ming's too far away. Alright, let's go ahead and just... They're in a bad spot right now because the whole team's in there. So I'm just going to be able to just blast these dudes like... Like they don't even know whatever happened. Do they have more than one purple shield? I sure hope not. So I can just fire into the crowd and just take out everything. So this is a good, good opportunity for me. It's what they call like ducks in the barrel right there. What just happened? My Arthur just kind of went up in the air. That was strange. Alright. What's he doing? How's that happening? That's weird. We gotta get rid of that Ming real quick. Let's get rid of this. Alright, I love you, Arthur. Would you like to marry me, sir? Would you like to marry me, Mr. Arthur? You guys remember Pee Wee Herman when someone's like, I love that. He's like, well, why don't you marry it? I don't know why, but that thought kind of popped into my head. Yep. Lightning and Arthur. <laughs> He went flying. That was great. I love doing that to people. It's so fun when someone jumps and you can do that to him. All right, he's going to escape. Let's shoot this guy in the back. Never mind, I'm out of ammo. All right, I'm kind of surrounded, so I need to I need to move over this way. Let's hit him with our blast. 
got robots coming in every direction to try and kill me. Alright, I'm, I'm in a bad spot, so I'm going to just go after this guy as aggressively as possible. And he teleported somehow. Bam! You have died. You have died. Mr. Arthur, you are about to die. Oh man, he put a shield up. Alright, hurry up. We need to break that dude's shield. And I can't hit that guy. Why does my Arthur keep going up in the air like that? That's weird. I think my Arthur is defective. I don't love you anymore, Arthur. The wedding's off. Alright. Don't worry, I'm not really in love with Arthur. Well, we got a victory, and that was good. That was fun. All right. I'm pretty. I'm still pretty happy. Whoa, look at that. I'm going to go watch that video. Hold on. Let's see how much money I get after watching that. All right, 1.6 million silver. That is awesome. It still says my clan rank is unknown. Whoa, league progress plus 30? That's huge. That's, that's huge. Eight kills, 2.6 million damage. All right, now the reason I'm getting so much silver is I'm running a silver booster and I've got the VIP premium. Sometimes that pops up. It's like $1.99 for 10 or 15 days of the premium. And when those pop up for real cheap like that, I usually buy them because the extra silver is really nice. Let's see. It looks like our clan's about to go up into another league or something, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's go play another battle before these boosters run out. Looks like they're still going. So we got a boost with the boosters. Now, I did some squatting with my clan yesterday. I'll tell you guys what. Champion League squatting is rough. It is rough. Like, we, we kept getting put up against... Guys, we have maxed out everything. That's why I usually play so ooh. That's why I usually play solo. Because you get into squads and it's just like, man, everybody's got the best of everything everywhere and you just get wrecked. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and Ah, oh, you screwed me. Alright. I'm not going to be able to make it to my destination because I bumped into that guy. Really, right now is a bad time to be up in the air. As you can, can see, I almost it almost got me. I didn't really think about it until I got halfway over there. And then I was like, oh no, I shouldn't be here. Oh, we lost it. What is that? That's Ravenna, right? Alright, this isn't good. Sometimes Hover does awesome. Sometimes he just dies like crazy. And that guy's in his ability. I want to I wanna back off more. I don't want to land in front of that opening. Because there's usually dudes in there just waiting to zap you. So I used his ability to get away from there at the last minute. Because I'm pretty sure I might have ended up just dying if I would have stayed there. I do really like this robot. You just gotta be really careful with him. He's he's one of he's like one of the older robots that some of them are still really good, but you just gotta you just gotta be super careful with them because they can't take hits like some of the newer robots. And their ability doesn't give them give them any type of good survivability. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over this way a little bit. Let's get up in the air so we we can hit these guys over top of all the stuff. Try and stay up in the air as long as possible. And I'm like way into the back somewhere where... Oh man, I... Crap. <laughs> Alright. Hold on. Here we go. That's where I want it to be. Come on, I lost my lock on somehow. But yeah, sometimes you can use his ability to a good advantage here. Alright, you weren't expecting to be hover to be back in the cubby hole, were you? Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna use up this ammo and then I'm gonna go up in the air and 
Oh, never mind. We got dudes over this way. Five, four. All right, I'm gonna try and kill this guy. Probably doesn't know I'm up here, right? Oh, that, that backfired on me. Yeah, that backfired on me. All right, I'm dead. Ooh, I died quick. That was fun, but I, I didn't mean to go that far. Are there any teammates over here? I'd like to be able to heal somebody. Alright, someone killed him. Awesome. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. My man. My bots are getting beat up bad this game. He's healing too, whatever it was dead is that an enemy no I thought I thought I was being burned up by an enemy there all right I think I'm gonna go back this way ha <laughs> down two turds exploded wait wait no no get in there get in there get in there yes 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 come on come on come on come on come on oh no I got my my come on come, yeah <laughs> oh that was fun all right Arthur Hello, 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 la, 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 la. you're dead. Targeting systems going nuts. I can't move. There we go. I wasn't able to move for a minute. Was I locked down there? I'm not really sure. I don't think that I was, but I couldn't move. All right. So far, I'm not sure when the new operation is going to start, but I haven't heard what's going to be in the new one yet. Hopefully it's going to be some good stuff. If I find out, I'll let you guys know. There goes the crazy targeting system. Going nuts. So let's take out this Titan real quick, and then we'll try and take out the Mini Titan. That's what I call that little dude. Alright, I need to get down here. I want to get into this action, guys. There's a Ming up there. Let's go ahead and shoot him first. Get out of the line of fire and then blow up the Ming. I want to blow up the Ming real quick. That's a tough Ming. Let's go ahead and blow this thing up. No, he's, he's going in there. Here comes somebody. Okay. Got it. And I, I, for some reason, I don't think I was hitting that guy. All right, let's open these doors. Get rid of all this old ammo. Try and take this guy out. It's like main central over here. All right, let's close the doors and let's just fire upon this guy. The fury. Let's bring the fury. All right. That one is not my friend. That is not my friend. That is not my friend. Oh. Well. Do what we can. Am I going to be able to kill it? Probably not, but I'm going to do my best. And I need to uh, I need to find a way to escape because if I don't... How did the, I hardly damage that dude at all? That did not seem right. That did not seem right. Seems like I should have done way more damage to that guy. Please don't hit. Oh, he's able to hit me. Alright, I knew I should have went backwards and fell off the top of the cliff, but I didn't. But I didn't. I knew I should have, but I didn't. And get, look what happened. Sometimes, sometimes you just beat on up in life. Kind of like that guy. That was a great time to have an example. That is one strong Ming. So I'm just going to try and get this beacon from this dude. 
It would be really nice to have this legendary Ming pilot. I'm gonna go ahead and phase shift it. Where did that come from? If I go behind him though, we're gonna lose the beacon. I don't wanna go behind the guy. I'm just gonna keep using my ability and messing with this dude. I don't think he can hit me right now, at least not very much. That's the one thing about, uh... Maybe if I'm lucky, my shotguns will break his shield, I don't know. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. That's enough, we're at 40 minutes already, so you guys got plenty of nice gameplay. And, uh, yep, that was a lot of fun. 2.4 million damage, 7 kills... Not bad, not bad. Man, my team did really good. There was three of us with really high damage. The other team did really good as well. So that was a great battle. We just happened to come out on top. And we're, we're pretty lucky for that, I think. I'm going to go ahead and watch a couple of videos now to get some more junk. And, uh, yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See ya.